and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of deep cleaning and, organi and organizing. I'm going to be tackling my kitchen and my family room. I'm finally getting the chance to get in here and actually deep clean this space and kind of reset it since after the, after the holidays. So that's what I'm doing today. But first, I'm starting off by removing my rug. This is a ruggable. I did a collaboration for them some months back and absolutely love it. So I'm just taking it off here so I can wash it because it is washable so I can get it all clean. Since I have my rugs removed, I'm going to take this opportunity to remove these rug pads and just go ahead and mop my floors really good. I'm also going to sweep it as well. So today I'm not going to be using my steam mop. I'm going to be actually using the regular mopping bucket because I really want to take some pine saw and just actually disinfect and clean my floors really good. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trina. I love to do a lot of decorating on the channel. I also do some cleaning videos as well as a few organization videos. So I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family here if you enjoy that kind of content. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. Before we continue on with today's video, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your own website. You can use that website to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can also manage members, send email communication and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. You can use your Squarespace website to create a community fully integrated with commenting system that supports threaded comments like replies and likes. You can also use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts as well. Squarespace also has extensions where you can use to manage inventory, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. Also display posts from your social profiles on your website so you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. So go to, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash decorate made easy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Can't not keep it low key. 
Trances going all to different places, different planets. But your aura passed me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed, you like the fast life, you like to drive, get down dirt, like, like, like. I. So, in today's video, the multi purpose spray that I'm using in today's video is called method and is in the scent grapefruit so that's what i'm using you'll see me use that pretty much everywhere on my counters and then also on my fireplace mantle it actually works really well so i go in between using that and then also use the mrs myers multi-purpose spray as well i think they both works really well
Trust is not supposed to let us know how to grow. So the rug is still, or the rug cover is still in the dryer drying, so I'm just taking this time to go ahead and vacuum off the padding just to make sure that I remove all the crumbs and everything like that before I actually put the clean rug. Now I would say the rug, this is the first time I actually put the cover to this ruggable inside the dryer and wash it. The first time I actually just kind of took my uh, carpet cleaner and cleaned it and it still came uh, equally as clean. But this time it did take a lot longer for it to dry. And then even after I took it out the dryer, it still was kind of wet. So what I did was I laid it out and then I just let it air dry. So while I'm still letting it um, dry, what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of decor. I'm just adding this moss into this marble tray here. I think I got that tray from Target a long time ago. And then I just added some green moss balls. And then, like I said, while I'm waiting on my rug to dry, I'm just all over the place today in this video. I'm just kind of trying to tackle a lot of different chores, a lot of different things. So I really want to restock my kitchen um, underneath my kitchen sink. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just adding in some essentials that I'm using on an everyday basis. I don't know if you guys clean like me. I kind of clean all over the place. So I, while I'm waiting on one thing to dry, I'm just doing multiple things. That way I'm not wasting time. So while I'm waiting on that rug to get clean before I can move my furniture back, I decided just to go ahead and restock underneath my kitchen sink. So I have these little cubbies or these little drawers that I purchased from Amazon. I, these things are awesome because it's a space saver and then it keeps all of my essentials night, nice and neat and tidy underneath my kitchen sink. So I absolutely love them. So I'll have them linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. And then that little two tier tray, I actually picked that up from Target and it holds a lot. So I usually go between hand soap and Clorox bleach wipes and things like that in there just to kind of keep everything all neat.
drunk and too scared and lied to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta stay So now that my rug is all clean, we're gonna just go ahead and add it back to its rug cover. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and move the furniture back. Now I do want to spot clean my sofa. So that's what you will see me doing in the next clip. I'm gonna just take my Hoover spot clean vacuum cleaner and try to clean some of the cushions. But right now I'm just taking my vacuum cleaner and vacuuming out all of the um, base of the cushions just to make sure it's all clean. Now you see me here, I do have a microfiber cloth that I'm using. I have a little bit of Dawn dish soap on there and I'm using that to mainly spot clean my cushions, my upper cushions, and then also the seat part because my, for some reason, my Hoover vacuum cleaner or my Hoover um, carpet cleaner, it was pouring out way too much water. So I didn't really want to soak the cushions that much because we need to be able to sit in here. So I didn't want to take that long to dry. So that's why you see me with that micro uh, fiber cloth. I just have a little bit of Dawn, blue Dawn dish soap on there and I'm just using that to kind of remove any spots. If you're wondering about this sofa, I did pick this up from Macy's. I absolutely love this sectional. It is so super soft, it's comfortable and I love that it keeps its shape and it just looks really contemporary. It just looks perfect for this space. So I absolutely love it. So if you're interested I'll have it linked down in the description box below. You can choose your fabric and pick your colors and all that stuff as well. But keep in mind, it does take a lot longer to get anything that's kind of custom made now. So just keep that in mind. But if you're looking for a really good affordable sofa or sectional, this sectional is perfect. I absolutely love it. And you can actually choose the different configurations. So if you don't need a larger sofa like this, you can also get it in like a four piece or three piece, whatever, you know, specifications you may be interested in. But yeah, super comfortable, nice and um, nice large sofa. Um, I absolutely love it.
watch you as you sleep you don't know i'm looking with you everything is complete do you know how much i love you i put your favorite song on just to wake you up when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna move on to my kitchen area. So I'm gonna take my vacuum cleaner and I'm also gonna clean out my bar stools. I absolutely love these bar stools. They do have a performance fabric on them, but they do still get um, a few stains. So I'm gonna take that um, carpet cleaner and just actually clean my cushions as well on these just to remove all those stains. But if you're interested, these bar stools did come from um, Front Gate. She's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Excuse me, just wiping my doors there. down I'm using Sprayway Glass Cleaner to clean my doors and I also use that on all of my mirror furniture and all of my glassware. I just use the sprayway. It just really cleans it really good. Now you can see I did paint my door back white. My I think it looks a lot better with the white instead of the black door. And so I end up repainting it back uh, white. So now I'm just adding in this wreath. I know I had this wreath on my door for fall, but I think it's neutral enough to go in my kitchen because I absolutely love this wreath. So I'm just going to use it on my pantry door. So now I'm just going to go ahead and remove everything from my kitchen counter so I can wipe down my backsplash and also wipe down my counters as well. Sometimes you'd be surprised of what you find behind those uh, uh, appliances and all of that. So I try to remove everything and give it a good cleaning. That way I'm not missing any crumbs or, you know, food or anything like that behind this stuff. Feel 
created this really cute vignette here on my kitchen counters and I absolutely love it. So I'm just using one of my wooden cutting boards as a tray that cutting board I actually got from Walmart a long time ago is by pioneer woman so I'm still using it so I wanted to put a lot of natural and kind of organic um, kind of decor in my kitchen because everything is so bright white in here I really wanted to kind of warm it up with a lot of the wood tones so that's what you see me kind of add into my space so that little artwork came from Target as well the containers actually came from the containers the container store and then some of them actually came from home goods as well so it's just a mixture of the two but I absolutely love of how it turned out. I'm just changing out my stand that I usually house my hand soaps and my dish soap on. I had this found this little wooden stand from Target, so I decided to add it to my counter. And then I'm just refilling my soap dispenser. So this soap is by Grove, as you can see, it comes in this large container. I forgot the name of it, but I can remember I put it across the screen. But it actually it smells really good.
One thing I love to do after my kitchen is all clean or we're coming to the near near end of getting the kitchen all put back together. I love to change out my dish towels and just put in a clean, fresh set. So I found these cute towels at Target as well. So the actually they came in a pack of five. I think it came in a pack of five, but they had different designs in each pack. So they had like a pretty blue color, they had pretty gray, and then they had a pretty yellow. They had really pretty um, colors. So I decided to get this gray color. One of my favorite parts of my kitchen is this beautiful organized um, kitchen towel drawer. I know it's weird, but I absolutely love just restocking it and just being able to have all of my essentials in my kitchen like right at my fingertips so i love just keeping this drawer restocked and um, ready to go so this is what you see me doing here i'm just adding in all of my hand towels i also keep my drying uh, mat in here as well as well as some oven mitts and then also have some little microfiber scrubbers as well for the dishes So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off my island. One of my favorite parts of decorating my kitchen is styling my kitchen island, and then also styling my kitchen counters as well. So I'm gonna just take some multi-purpose spray. This is in the Method brand too, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off my counters. So I wanted to figure out a way to kind of warm up my kitchen. So I added these little cafe curtains. I got these from Target as well. I absolutely love them. I think they turned out really cute. So I just had these little kind of um, curtain hooks on here just to kind of hold them in place because I did steam them a little bit, but they still kind of wrinkled. So I'm going to have to go over them again and um, steam them really good to make sure they're wrinkle free. But I think they turned out super cute. Now I'm just going to add some decor to my island. So I had this vase or this um, kind of traditional looking urn for a while I got this from home goods so I'm just gonna add in some floral stems and then I'm using these almost like a little chartreuse color of a uh, green very pretty so I'm just gonna add some stems in here to create a vignette for my island I'm gonna add in a smaller vase next to it 
to kind of decorate in a set of three concepts. So I have these alliums. I think these are alliums. They have like that same uh, green color in there with a little bit of white. And then I'm going to add it to this base. So the vase and these stems actually came from Target. I got these maybe a few years back. So I absolutely love them. And these stems are very thick. So if you do get them, you have to kind of put some force on them to kind of actually bend them. But yeah, they're super thick, very good quality. So that is it you guys for today's video i will i hope you all enjoy hanging out with me i hope you got some cleaning done in your own home and also some reorganization done as well thank y'all so so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me thank you again to squarespace for sponsoring this video and i'll see you all in the next one bye